Hey everybody, welcome back. Now this week I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, over the last couple of months I've been saving up all my milk cartons. Now the milk cartons are made of HDPE and that makes for a really good material to use. It's hard wearing and it's like virtually impossible to break. I mean if it does break you just bung it back in the oven, remelt it and then reshape it to whatever you want. Now I want to do a little bit of a mini series of things that you can make with HDPE and this week I just want to make a block. Now the block is going to be made into something a little bit different, that's going to be in an upcoming video. But I wanted to try and just show you how easy it is for one and the other side is if I can actually do it with the mould that I've made. Now this is the mould and I'll quickly show you how I made it but it's just bit of MDF, all my scraps, four sides and a bottom and a top. Now this is going to be uh, to push all the HDPE down. Um, I've already done some melting and the results weren't great. I mean I didn't put enough pressure into it and I was just hand rolling it. And then when I started trying to use that HDPE it was, you could just see it was just breaking up. Um, there was air pockets in there as well so it wasn't a great bind. So hopefully when I start melting the HPE, I'll pop it into here and I can push it down really nice and tight just to try and eliminate all of those air bubbles or the voids that may come up if I was just to hand roll it. So please do stick around and see how I do it. So to start off with, I've already preheated the oven to 170 degrees. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit for you American people. So as I said, I've been collecting milk bottles now for a few months, and I've got a bag absolutely full of cut up milk cartons. Now you can also use uh, shampoo bottles as well, and conditioner bottles. Just make sure that you have a look in the triangle on the product, and as long as it's got two or HDP in there, it should be good to go. Now I've just got a normal baking tray here and I'll put some baking parchment in there as well. This is going to just help it not stick to the metal and I'm just going to fill that with some shavings. Now at this point I don't want to overload the tin. I just want enough in there just so it can start melting. When it starts to melt I can then add more to that. And that will sit baking for approximately 10 minutes, but I'll keep an eye on it. As soon as it starts to melt, I'll start adding some more. Okay, so that's been 10 minutes now. And as you see, it's starting to melt, which is exactly what we wanted. So I'm just going to add some more to this now, and then bung it back into the oven. So there we go, I've added a little bit more. Back she goes. And we'll come back in another 10 minutes. There's another 10 minutes. Right at this point I'm going to start moulding it just to get a rough shape. So all I'll do, still in the package, I'll just scrunch it together like so. And 
As you can see, we're going to need a little bit more HDPE. And back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I did it for a few more times and I've got a big block like that. I need to work quickly, so bear with me. I've got the insert and a little plunger as well to sit on top. And that's going to go into my towel vise. So this clamp does some amazing pressure and it was just blowing out all the sides of the MDF so hopefully the clamps have just brought that all the way back. Fingers crossed it will give me some sort of a square finish but we'll see, we're learning. If it doesn't work I'll just pop it back in the oven, remelt it and give it another go. But at the moment that's nicely pressured down, hopefully that will give me a good enough finish. We'll leave it for a few hours just to try and cool. Um, now, last time I did this, it took about three hours to fully like cool down. It, it took a while. Um, I don't want to take it out too early because I don't know whether it might uh, try and relax and go back to an, an unpressured state. Is that the word? I don't know. So, as I said, I'll leave it in there for a few hours and we'll come back and check how we're getting on. Okay, so I've given it a few hours now and hopefully that's as cool as it can be. Um, all I do is take all the clamps off and we'll get it out and have a look. Well, I did not expect that. That is still bloody boiling. Just okay to uh, sort of hold it in your hands. Uh, although, I have to keep moving it around. Uh, so, there you go. There is my block of HDPE. It's come out really well. And I can tell you for a fact, it's a lot better than my previous efforts. So, I'm going to count that as a win. Um... It's not technically the size that I want it for the purpose I'm going to use it for. Maybe if I cut it down the middle and sort of remelt it, scrunch it back together again, maybe that might work. But well, uh, I'm going to leave that to fully go off now. Once it does that, then we can start making some stuff out of it. So, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do click the thumbs up button down below. Also, as well, if you haven't, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Doing so will keep you up to date with all of my latest videos. So, until the next time, I'll see you soon.